Hello guys, welcome on Tesla Adventures. In this video today, we will be discussing the basics of projectile motion that what is projectile motion and what is the equation of the projectile motion under the effect of the gravity. So let us first of all discuss that, uh, imagine, let us first of all imagine that we have a switch to control the gravity and we have switched off the gravity initially and without the effect of gravity and without the effect of air we are projecting a stone with the velocity of u then you can imagine that this stone will move uh, along a straight line which is along the direction of uh, the projection velocity because obviously there is no other force acting on the stone hence its motion would be a straight line motion now <coughs> Now let us see that uh, if we have projected this stone with the velocity of u then you can see that its x component would be u cos theta and its y component would be u sin theta. And uh, the displacement of the stone in the x direction can be easily calculated by multiplying the x velocity with the time and the displacement of a stone in y direction can also be easily calculated by multiplying the y velocity with time okay so this x coordinate is u cos theta into t and this y coordinate is u sin theta into t so this is the projectile motion without the effect of gravity but obviously we know that we have to study the projectile motion and under the effect of the gravity so now if there is gravity if we have switched on the gravity by that switch so uh, the gravity will uh, decrease the height of the projectile because gravity is pulling the projectile in the downward direction and we all know that the acceleration of the gravity is constant and its value is g so let us compare uh, the position of this projectile to the previous position so you can see that previously projectile was here at time t and this was y, y. but due to the downward pull of gravity uh, there is a, a decrease in displacement of the projectile in y direction which is gt square by 2. This expression is s is equal to half gt square. So gravity has pulled down this projectile by a distance of gt square by 2. And therefore this y would be now equal to u sin theta into t which was previously and minus gt square by 2. So now this y would be equal to this displacement. Now we know that there is no component of gravity along x axis therefore there is no effect on the motion of x therefore we can say that the displacement of the projectile which was initially without the effect of gravity was x is equal to u cos theta into t and it would be same in this case also because gravity is pulling the projectile in the downward direction there is uh, and therefore there is no effect on the motion of x axis so it is very important to note that projectile motion is a two dimensional motion under the effect of a gravity and in this two dimensional motion uh, the direction of y which is the vertical direction is always uh, under the effect of gravity and the motion of y direction is uh, deaccelerated by the gravity but the motion of x direction does not have any acceleration or deacceleration therefore in this complete projectile motion we can say that the x velocity will always remain constant and it is equal to u cos theta which is the initial x velocity but obviously y velocity would keep on uh, changing due to the downward acceleration g now at this point let's suppose that the projectile ends up here on the ground and therefore at this point if there was no gravity the projectile should be here would have been here so this height would be equal to u y into t okay if there was no gravity but due to effect of gravity the projectile has came down to the ground so therefore we can say that the uh, displacement in the downward direction due to the gravity pull is half gt square 
and the displacement it uh, it would have uh, completed without the effect of gravity is u y into t so they both would be equal because net displacement is zero so you can also find out the time of flight from this expression that time of flight is equal to 2 u y by g okay so this is the time of flight so i hope you uh, have understood that what is the projectile mo motion under the effect of gravity and now we will discuss that uh, why this motion is parabolic so so now let's establish the equation of motion of the uh, equation of trajectory of this projectile path so to establish that relationship we know that the equation of trajectory is the relationship between x and y coordinates of uh, the projectile and we have already discussed that x coordinate is equal to u cos theta into t while the y coordinate is equal to <coughs> u sin theta into t minus half gt square so now we have to establish the relationship between x and y and to establish that relationship we have to eliminate the third variable which is time so time is equal to x upon u cos theta and to eliminate this variable we have to substitute the value of this time in this expression so this y would be equal to u sin theta into t which is x upon u cos theta minus half g t square which is x square upon u square cos square theta so you can uh, eliminate this u and therefore you can say that y is equal to x tan theta minus half g x square upon u square cos square theta this is the general equation of uh, the path of the projectile motion and you can uh, concentrate on the uh, the term of y and the term of x square that y is proportional to minus x square so this is a downward uh, opening parabola so obviously this projectile motion is a downward opening parabola now let us also discuss another form of this equation of trajectory let us write down the equation of trajectory again that it is equal to y is equal to x tan theta minus half g x square upon u square cos square theta now if we take x tan theta common then it would be 1 minus this is g x upon 2 u square cos theta into sin theta okay you can see that if we multiply this tan theta here then you would be getting this expression so let me tell you that this this thing uh, this 2 u square u square cos theta sin theta by g this is called as range range of the projectile and range is the maximum displacement along the x axis on the ground this one so this is the range from this point to this point this is the range okay so this is range i would be deriving the expression of range in the next video so y is equal to x tan theta into 1 minus x by r so this is another form of equation of trajectory where r is the range and theta is the angle of projection while y and x are the instantaneous x and y coordinate of any point which lies on the path of the projectile thank you